Hello and welcome to your English language class. Today in this class we will be taking up present tense. Okay, you can refer to your chapter number 7 in your grammar book for this. We have already done simple present tense. So I hope you have understood uh, about the usage and structure of simple present tense that we have done in the previous class and also about the usage of present continuous tense. So today we will be taking up the structure of present continuous tense okay, and also the verbs of um, perception. So firstly let us talk about the structure of the present continuous tense. For affirmative sentence the structure will be subject plus be verb plus main verb. Okay, So I am sleeping. Subject here is I then be verb am and main verb will be sleeping. So main verb means uh, the first form of verb plus ing. Okay, So I am sleeping, we are sleeping, you are sleeping and so on. Okay. For negative sentence it will be I am not uh, sleeping, he is not sleeping, we are not sleeping. Right? And for interrogative sentence the structure will be WH word plus B verb plus subject plus main verb plus ing. Right? Who is sleeping? Who is sleeping? Okay. Who are who are sleeping okay then um, why are you sleeping yes it could be why are you sleeping okay and so on so this is the structure of the present continuous tense for affirmative sentence negative sentence and your interrogative sentences okay so it will be basically uh, subject plus be verb plus main verb plus ing right okay now there's on uh, this exercise let's do this rewrite the sentences below by changing the tense to the present continuous make necessary changes to the other parts of the sentence first is Raju buys a new car next year so Raju is buying a new car next year full stop Next is, I learn karate at a local club. I am learning karate at a local club. Third is, I plan to buy my brother a b pet for his birthday. Okay, So, I am planning to buy my brother a pet for his birthday. Niru and Jitain do their assignments together. Niru and Jitain are doing their assignments together. The school organizes a musical concert to raise money for charity every year. The school is organizing a musical concert to raise money for charity every year. Full stop. My sister runs a primary school in Kolkata. My sister is running a primary school in Kolkata. Will you buy a ticket for the concert? Are you buying a ticket for the concert? Question mark. Do you take the medicines regularly? Are you taking the medicines regularly? Famous singers from Mumbai come to perform at the Talkatora Stadium. Famous singers from Mumbai are coming to perform at the Talkatora Stadium. We practice for the annual drama competition in the district. We are practicing for the annual drama competition in the district. I ate pizza for lunch. I am eating pizza for lunch. Abhijit stays in a hotel. Abhijit is staying in a hotel. Next we have verbs of perception. Now what are verbs of perception? Verbs of perception refers to emotions and feelings senses, state of existence and possession. In this way they are different from verbs that denote action. So basically these are those words which do not um, express any action but they um, refer to your emotions or your feelings or your senses. Okay, 
um and your state of existence and your um, possession that what do you possess or what are your associations what are your attachments okay and what is the physical state what is your mental state as well as what is your physical state okay so words such as hate hear mean see know want believe desire and love cannot usually have the present continuous forms because they do not refer to actions okay so you have to keep this in mind that these words cannot be uh, used in their present continuous forms okay the following list shows you some such verbs verbs of perception and what do they denote like adore admire believe desire doubt esteem fear hate no like love prefer respect suppose think understand value these are all emotional and mental states okay next is uh, the kind of senses on um, the like um hear feel see smell sound taste you know about the sensory organs that we have and all the senses that we have so these are the words that we use to uh, talk about the senses agree appear deny impress mean please promise seem these are casual relations and communication next we have possessions associations and attachments like belong concern consist contain depend involve lack need or own possess now some of these verbs can take the progressive forms when they refer to physical states for instance compare words in the following two columns ab jab hum in verbs ko physical state uh, jo wo refer kar rahe hote hain तो क्या होता है उनका हम कॉन्टीन्यूस फॉर्म यूज कर सकते हैं ओके लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई फील दैट वी शुड इन्फॉर्म द पुलिस यहाँ पे जो फील है उसका मतलब है एन ओपिनियन और मेंटल स्टेट ओके आई फील दैट वी शुड इन्फॉर्म द पुलिस सो आई थिंक ठीक है आई थिंक दैट वी शुड इन्फॉर्म द पुलिस दैट्स एन ओपिनियन अब नेक्स्ट है आई एम फीलिंग वेरी हॉट और आई एम फीलिंग वेरी कोल्ड so here this is referring to a physical state please switch on the ac i am feeling very hot okay or please switch off the fan i am feeling very cold okay so these are your physical state so here we can use the progressive or the continuous form of these verbs but aap ye kabhi nahi bolenge i am feeling that we should inform the police no okay i feel that we should inform the police so that's an opinion नेक्स्ट इज डू यू सी वॉट ही मीन्स यहाँ पे सी का मतलब है अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड कम्युनिकेशन क्या आपको समझ में आ रहा है वो जो कहना चाह रहा है सो डू यू सी वॉट ही मीन्स इसको हम ऐसे कभी नहीं लिखेंगे आर यू सींग वॉट ही इज मीनिंग अब इसी को अगर हम प्रोग्रेसिव या कॉन्टीन्यूस फॉर्म में लिखेंगे तो ही इज सींग अ डॉक्टर टूडे मीन्स ही इज गोइंग टू मीट द डॉक्टर टूडे ओके ही इज गोइंग टू विजिट द डॉक्टर टूडे next is she thinks she is always right so again this is an opinion or a mental state but we can we cannot write she is thinking she is always right now she is thinking of learning a foreign language theek hai so yahan pe kya hai it's an act of contemplation and she is considering okay now she, here she is considering of learning a foreign language so she is thinking of learning a foreign language will be correct but she is thinking she is always right is wrong okay next is i have a rare picture of mahatma gandhi denotes possession okay i have a rare picture of mahatma gandhi means uh, mere paas ek picture hai ek rare picture hai mahatma gandhi ki lekin hum ye nahi bolenge i am having a rare picture of mahatma gandhi i am having means i am eating okay so it seems you are having fun here okay i am having a bath now are you having your lunch for all these things you can write having 
in the above sentences the progressive forms of the verb have referred to enjoyment in sentence 1 the action of taking a bath in sentence 2 the action of eating lunch in sentence 3 therefore the verbs in these three cases take a progressive form aap um, jab kehna chahte ho that you are eating your lunch then you can say i'm having my lunch you are having a bath okay you are having fun but you cannot say i'm having a rare picture of someone you always say i have a rare picture of mahatma gandhi ya yeah, i have a pen okay you cannot say i'm having a pen that's the wrong way of putting it now there is one practice exercise let's do this choose the correct verb alternative and complete the following sentences i see or am seeing kya aayega i see that she is having a good time so i see or i understand i uh, i see that she is having a good time okay this piece of music sounds so pleasant this piece of music sounds so pleasant okay this mango tastes really good look she is tasting one of those two she knows when to stop talking he feels that we should start early for masuri i am feeling a bit uncomfortable in this closed office okay next is complete the story with the correct form of the verbs in the box one morning tinny was taking a walk she started to feel very nervous she was walking down a very dark street she could feel someone watching her she was sure that she heard their footsteps following her she stopped and listened carefully yes there it was she heard someone breathing loudly and smelled something burning she turned and saw something moving quickly the last thing she remembers is that she saw two bright yellow eyes running away when she wo- woke up and found herself lying at home she asked her mother what happened she was told that she was found lying on the road with a black uh, cat sitting near her okay so we have finished chapter number 7 verb present tense will be taking up chapter number 8 verbs past tense in the next class so you are supposed to do all these exercise of chapter number 7 in your grammar notebook and submit your homework positively by 3 o'clock tomorrow thank you for watching this video